Hello, so today I'll do just a really quick comparison between these two trackballs. The first is the Elecom Bitra, which is a small Bluetooth portable trackball. So what I like about this one is, as you can see on the screen, it has a really smooth scroll and you can't hear it. Uh, in particular, the middle click is very quiet and easy to press. Uh, the other good thing is that this button here on the side, which is the whole panel here, it's very quiet and it's easy to click as well. Uh, it also does have a right click here and I find that that is also easy to click and quiet. So the reason I wanted to get a new trackball from this one was that occasionally the ball is not particularly smooth. It is still a bit scratchy and I mentioned in the previous video uh, it has broken in a little bit more since I first got it but it's still not really completely smooth. Um, and because it's Bluetooth, I occasionally have little bits of lag now and then when I'm in certain programs where uh, the mouse won't move and then it was just suddenly move to where I wanted to go. And that is particularly annoying when you're doing quick video editing or stuff like that. So I wanted to get a mouse that I could use uh, plugged in directly. Uh, this one also has the ability to be used with Bluetooth or a USB dongle. Now it is very smooth, the trackball in particular, it's very smooth, but you can hear this. The, uh, the actual bearings in there are kind of a little bit iffy, but it is very smooth. I saw some people saying it's not smooth, but as soon as I felt this one, it's a lot smoother than the Bitra. Um, the other good thing is that it's very ergonomic, it fits in my hand very nicely. And it has two clicks here and another click on the top, so it has three buttons on top. Uh, it has a switch on the side to switch to Bluetooth. Um, you get a back and a forward button and then a click and another function button. Um, but now the bad thing about this one, unfortunately, and it's so bad that I'm actually going to be sending it back, is that um, the scroll wheel on this one, if you can hear that, it's a lot louder and very firm and and unpleasant to scroll with. You can see I've adjusted the speed so the faster I scroll it, the faster it scrolls on the page. But uh, it's not even only just that, it's the, the fact that <laughs> pressing the middle click takes at least twice the amount of effort to click it in. It's very unpleasant and makes just generally web browsing unusable. Now I did set the function button here to be the middle click so I can middle click with a much easier press but still the scroll itself is, is just very unpleasant and makes this whole thing uh, unfortunately brings the whole thing down. Now the other thing uh, in comparison to the bitch is that the click is a lot louder and more obnoxious and I know that's more like a normal click especially on other um, trackballs that I've used, but the click on the Bitra is just so much more quiet and friendlier, whereas this one is so loud, you can hear. Um, all the buttons are as loud, except these top ones, they're more like the, the one on here. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to do that comparison. The trackball is very smooth. It's very nice and ergonomic. Um, I also still find the Bitra is nice and ergonomic. It's just that the trackball is not particularly smooth. And the other thing is that the battery is doesn't last particularly long. I have to change the battery every couple of months or every three to four months, four to five months. I don't know how long it is, but it definitely feels like I've changed the battery in this a lot more than any other mouse or keyboard that I've ever had. Um, and also the Bluetooth lags can be annoying, but it is serviceable. And I think the scroll wheel on this one, the middle click and the button press make this one overall a nicer experience to use uh, than this one, even though this is ergonomically a lot better and the, the trackball itself is a lot smoother. The, the loud click and most of all, the hard scrolling and the three times harder than normal middle press make this unfortunately one that I will be sending back.
So that's it. I hope that helped uh, with your decision. If you are thinking about purchasing either of these, um, I will put a couple of links in the description uh, and in a comment below. Um, if you have any other questions, just leave them down below and I'll see whether I can answer those for you. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.